6, I'm Abigail Blackrick. Today in Bel Air, speaking with Wendy Dawson, the Systems Director for the Township Ambulance Authority. Wendy, these are some pretty awesome ambulances that we're next to, and you were part, partially responsible for coming up with this concept. How did you come up with it? Well, in December of 2014, it was apparent that the Township Authority was going to change what they do and become a self-service provider in our nine townships. And so then the concept be, we didn't want to be like everyone else. We wanted to be original and reflect our community as much as we could. So then the idea came how to do that. And we thought if we strove to reflect issues that we see in our community, bring awareness to them, get the conversation started, um, that that would be a positive for the community as a whole. Absolutely. So right now, how many trucks do you have? Um, right now we own five, and so we have ten sides. Uh, each side is uniquely different for each truck. And what are some of the sides? What do they represent? Uh, well, this one we're standing in front of is pancreatic cancer, uh, wage hope. The other side of this truck is pink uh, breast cancer awareness, um, fight for the cause. The one across from us is stroke, uh, American Heart Association stroke, and, and the signs to identify that. Um, then there's the CPR uh, signs, um, CPR saves lives, use your hands, community response kind of theme. Uh, one of my favorites is the reflection of our community for Autism Speaks in the wide spectrum array. Uh, we did a really neat puzzle piece uh, kind of logo for that that is, gets a lot of attention. Um, we have Heart Smart, uh, Heart Health, which is gives you a lot of, you know, walk 10,000 steps a day, drink more water, all that kind of yeah. fun stuff, and get outside and move type stuff. Um, we have a really neat one that, I, that a lot of the crew is particular to is a reflection of our community itself and that we took the badges from our fire departments, the three village police officers, um, as well as the county, and we made a really neat red, white, and blue collage uh, kind of homage to the people who come out and serve you as well as ourselves. And the other side of that is a very touching subject is, um, you know, prevention of suicide. And that truck gets a lot of attention. Um, it kind of stops people in their tracks when they see it, but it starts that very necessary community conversation about talking about that you need help and where to get it. Sounds like a great way to spread awareness to some pretty serious issues. So with doing something this unique that hasn't been done before, what were some of the difficulties you ran into? Well, it was kind of hard to, um, not, not, I wouldn't say difficult, but challenging to get the board because they're responsible to the community and how they spend mm -hmm. their money and, and what they represent. And so it, it, it was, took a little bit to convince them that, you know, instead of doing the standard ambulance logo where everything looks the same for everyone, that we wanted to outreach to our community. And once we did that, um, then the rest became pretty easy. And how has the community responded? We get a lot of really neat response. We get a lot of requests for parades, obviously. We get requests from the schools to bring specific trucks out, depending on what learning modules the school's doing, like CPR or autism or um, health in general for heart health. We get a lot of response where families come here to have their pictures taken with the trucks and talk to the crew because they see them out in the community. So we think that's pretty neat. That's great. And so, Wendy, what was your overall goal when you thought of this idea, what were you hoping would come of it? Well, we, one wanted to be unique, obviously, yeah. but really we wanted to show the community that we care. We're not only here in their specific time of need during their emergency, but we wanted to reflect that social aspect that there's things we can help them with, guidance and things we can show them and teach them, and they can always come here with questions for help. Great, and Wendy, you guys, this is just one representation of how much you guys care about the community. You also have a program, your advanced care program, where you offer other amazing things. Tell me about that. Well, we do offer an Advantage Plus program that has uh, really nice features that like uh, when you have health insurance, but you have a copay, if you're an Advantage Plus membership, we waive that copayment for you if you live within our nine townships. We also offer CPR classes to the Advantage Plus, also to the community, but to the Advantage Plus memberships, they are very reduced cost, just enough to cover the cost of the class. We offer flu shot clinics for Advantage Plus memberships, as well as blood pressure uh, opportunities to come here and see the crew, get your blood sugar checked or your blood sugar taken. Great, and if somebody wanted to keep up with these programs that you offer or even just check out what's next for these trucks, is there a phone number, a website, or anything yeah, they could check out? We sure do. You can call us anytime at the office. is 231-533-9100. We also have a Facebook page, Township Ambulance Authority in Antrim County. 
And we do have a website, which is www.townshipambulanceauthority.com. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Dot org. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Wendy. Thank you. In Bel Air, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.